Okay, so in this problem, you've been asked to find the voltage and charges across each of the capacitors, capacitor 1, capacitor 2, and capacitor 3. All three of those capacitors are in parallel, and they're in parallel with the 5 volt voltage source. All three capacitors, again, are in parallel, and they're in parallel with the 5 volt voltage source. Okay, the capacitor values are 1 microfarad, 1 microfarad, and 4.7 microfarad for the capacitor number 3. So now in order to find the voltages, if we, re if we recognize that what happens since these are all in, in, in parallel, that means there's 5 volts across each of those capacitors. So easily, theoretically, we know that V1, which is equal to V2, which is equal to V3, they all have to have the same voltage across them, and that voltage is 5 volts because the voltage uh, source is in, parallel, uh, is in parallel with all three of these capacitors. So we've already found the voltages across all three. Okay, we also know that Q is equal to CV, right? So if we wanted to find the charge across each of these capacitors, we already know what the capacitor value is, we listed them above, and we know what the voltage is across all of them, so we can find the charges. So Q1 is equal to C1 times V1, and that is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 6, because that's what the uh, microfarad is, 1 times 10 to the minus 6. So it's 1.10 to the minus 6 farads, times the voltage across that which is 5 volts and if we multiply those together we end up with 5 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs for our charge for Q1 okay for Q2 we take C2 times V2 and we'll find our charge across that C2 capacitor and that also same thing right 1 times 10 to the minus 6 farads times 5 which is also equal to 5 times 10 raised to the minus 6 coulombs which is a charge across the plates of the capacitor in capacitor number 2 now number 3 Q3 is going to be equal to capacitor number 3 times times V3 and that's therefore 4.7 times 10 or let me yeah 4.7 times 10 to the minus 6 farads which is the same as microfarads uh, times the 5 volts and we go ahead and calculate that out and what do we end up getting here that's 4.7 times 10 raised to the minus 6 times 5 and we end up with 2.35 times 10 to the minus 5 whoops times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs as the answer for the charge across capacitor number 3 all right so that's 2.35 times 10 raised to the negative 5 power coulombs across capacitor number 3. All right, so those are our three charges across capacitors and the three voltages across those capacitors.